The New England Patriots had a pretty typical Patriot season in 2012. They went 12-4, and won the AFC East, and fell only one game short of yet another trip to the Super Bowl, losing to Baltimore at home in the AFC Championship game. So all's not perfect. After all, it's been eight years since New England actually won a Super Bowl. But still, if you're a Patriots fan, you can't complain. This is as close to a dynasty as we have in the NFL today. And they're going to remain that way. They're going to stay a Super Bowl contender just as long as Tom Brady keeps playing at such a high level. And even though he was 35 last year, he'll be 36 by the time next season rolls around. Brady hasn't shown any sign of slippage, passing for over 4,800 yards and 34 touchdowns in 2012, despite the fact some of his favorite targets missed some time with injury. Rob Gronkowski, maybe the best tight end in the NFL, missed five regular season games and the AFC Championship game with a forearm injury. And New England's other really good young tight end, Aaron Hernandez, he was banged up throughout much of the season as well. Still... The Patriots had the best offense in the NFL by any measure. They were number one in the league in total offense, number one in points per game. They averaged 34.8 points per game. And they didn't just do it through the air. They ran the ball well this year as well. Stephen Ridley rushing for over 1,200 yards and 12 touchdowns, filling in for Ben Jarvis Green-Ellis, who left to play for the Cincinnati Bengals. So there's just nothing not to like about this Patriots offense. Now, they will have to revamp the receiving core a little bit, Wes Welker, their leading receiver, is a free agent, and New England is not expected to franchise him, so he's going to hit the open market. We do not expect him to be a Patriot next season. Deion Branch, Julian Edelman, also free agents. Dante Stallworth, another free agent wide receiver, but the Patriots signed Stallworth midseason, so he was never a big part of this offense. So there's going to be some new wide receivers in New England next year, but they will have their two-headed tight end of Aaron Hernandez and Rob Gronkowski back. And with Tom Brady throwing the passes, regardless of who they sign at wide receiver, I don't expect much slippage from this offense. Now the defense, a little bit of a different story. You know, it's funny, Bill Belichick is talked about as a genius. You hear, you hear that word associated with Belichick a lot. And he is the head coach of a team that, as I said earlier, is as close to a dynasty as we have in the NFL today. However, Belichick has little to nothing to do with the offense. He's not an offensive guy. He is a defensive guy, made his bones in the NFL coaching defense. And when New England first started winning Super Bowls, the defense was the strength of the team. However, over the last few years, the defense has been what is holding this team back. So you wonder, is all this talk about Bill Belichick, the genius of Bill Belichick, is all that a little overrated? Because as much of a genius as he is, he hasn't been able to figure out this defense, even though they were better in 2012 than they were in 2011. Still, 25th in the NFL in total defense. They were especially bad against the secondary, 29th against the pass. If New England is going to win another Super Bowl before Tom Brady retires, they're going to need to improve this defense. Now, they're going to have an opportunity to do that this offseason. They do have a little bit of cap space. They're about $16 million under the cap now. They have the 29th pick in the first round of the draft. And I do look for them to address the secondary. We'll see if they re-sign Aqib Tlaib, who they picked up midseason from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tlaib is a free agent. He was the Patriots' best cornerback towards the end of the season, but he's got some off-field baggage. He's run into a little trouble off the field. There's been questions about his work ethic, so we'll see. He is a candidate to be franchised in New England. If he's not, we'll see if the Patriots are willing to pay him big-time money that he'll no doubt be looking for or if he's going to hit the open market. Regardless of whether they keep Tlaib or not, they're going to need to upgrade this secondary, and I'm sure they know it. As we said, it is the clear weak link of this team. They have the best offense in the NFL. They had a top 10 run, run defense this year. They have a good kicker, pretty good special teams. It's a secondary. We saw in the AFC Championship game, Joe Flacco lit him up. And regardless of whether it's Joe Flacco or Peyton Manning or this new crop of quarterbacks we see now, guys like Andrew Luck, Robert Griffin III, Russell Wilson, New England is going to have to beat teams that can throw the ball if they want, want to win another Super Bowl. And Tom Brady's running out of time. We said he's going to be 36 years old, week one of next season. So even though he's still great and will be great for a couple of years, eventually time's going to run out on Brady just like it runs out on everybody. So if New England wants to win another Super Bowl in the Tom Brady era, it would help if they can fix that defense. We'll see if they can do that this offseason. The future in the short term looks bright for the New England Patriots.